Hi everyone, I'm Annie Staninets and this is my partner on guitar, John Kale. And we've got a song picked out today called I Got a Bulldog. It's a really fun one that I got from the Troublesome Creek String Band. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
seems that it didn't cross your mind that um, playing the banjo was something you weren't supposed to do. It never crossed my mind. Not ever. And, uh, you know, part of that is, again, my family, I think, that they never said, you're a girl, you shouldn't do this. They never said that. And, um, and then the people that I knew early on who I jammed with, you know, I, I've made the joke that when I was 13, my best friends were 30-year-old men. And it was really true because... I pretty much checked out of school. I mean, I, I, as far as extracurricular stuff, I was super involved in just a whole host of things. And the more I got into banjo, the more everything started falling away. And by my senior year, you know, my mind was so far uh, past what was happening at school. And there were no kids who even knew about bluegrass at school. So what I looked forward to on the weekends was the chance to go play and jam uh, with right. the, the little pocket of people we had fallen into. And those guys are still some of my best friends that I will always look back fondly and appreciate because they were so encouraging and, and just um, just such gentlemen and, and just really supportive and, you know, good musicians. It gave me an opportunity to play with people who could play. And yeah. I want more. I don't just want there to be some women. I want there to be women who aren't just the singer and also play that they also like play an instrument um, or that it's not one woman surrounded by men on stage, which is what I did, you know, and still do in the mammals um, or that it isn't um, an all woman band that is like, that's, like this novelty that, you know, that's part of their identity. Like that shouldn't be a fact about a band, right. and, um, you know. If you think about not just what has changed in music or in the industry since, or, you know, industry such as it is in folk music, um, over the last 50 years or so, but what, what do you, what changes do you see in the role of women? Well, I think that finally, uh, the International Bluegrass Music Association has, has put much more focus on this. And I think it's a good thing on, mm -hmm. on diversity um, 
and the role of women and they're they're trying to be more inclusive i mean it's 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 a it's not because it's not the easiest thing in the world because you're dealing with a long a very entrenched white male dominated area mm -hmm. which was you know although african american music has always been a main component of southern traditional music mm -hmm. it's just never because of racism it has been pushed down mm -hmm. and and now it's beginning to be recognized mm -hmm. as such mm -hmm. because you know if you're talking about traditional southern music you're talking about music that's heavily influenced by black music mm -hmm. you know, all the syncopation all the slides and slurs and things like that that we use in southern singing are a result of the interchange with black music right and um so it's it's changing and but for for a long time bluegrass was really a white mm -hmm. guy's thing right I well know. and guys not just not just white but male yeah white men but Americana and folk festivals and venues I I honestly feel like in those genres and those scenes it seems like there's a way more acceptance of female acts being on the bill mm -hmm. um at, at least in the experience that I've that I've that I've had thus far um there's just been a a tremendous push especially with you know organizations like americana fest there's like this huge push to like recognize women and their talents and you know um so yeah it's i feel like in the circles that i've been in i've been fortunate to be on a bill be on bills with um, amazing female artists and uh and so i feel like but i feel like in other genres it's not it does it p appears like a lot of those problems are still kind of persisting a little bit more but not right. to say that there's not any issues in the genre that you know that we're in now but i get a sense that like generally speaking i've had very pleasant experiences with with promoters and with you know other artists and there seems to be this readiness and openness that's kind of that's mm -hmm. been happening you know and slowly but surely also people of color that's also start, that's a whole other Right. That's like a whole other <laughs> project in itself, obviously. Right, um, right. But yeah, but I don't know. If, if, it feels like things are slowly starting to move in the right direction for all of that stuff. So. Right.